What's up, y'all? Hope y'all doing cool. About to go to Bath and Body Works again. I gotta go get me some minis, y'all. And they said it's no line. Let's go in here and see what we can get. No line. What's up, y'all? So, I just wanted to come through and talk to y'all while I eat my little dinner. Um, it's lined up for y'all. Trying to see where I'm going with this. So I just wanted to come through and say, hey, I did go by um, Bath and Body Works today just to pick up the minis. The mini, the travel sizes, because they were two seventy five today. I'll show y'all what I got. Um, that gingham scent, that's my favorite. So I just went and got me some. I didn't cook tonight. I've been cooking every night for these men up in this house. Okay. They didn't have rib tips. They don't want to eat no leftovers. They didn't have red beans and rice. What else did I make them? Fried chicken. They ate all of that. Um. Pepper, what is it? Um, pepper steak, beef, steak, pepper, beef. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Over rice, they still got leftovers. I said, I ain't cooking tonight. That's it. So we having um, Popeyes chicken sandwiches. I like to eat mines with the coleslaw and the sweet heat. I may just put a little bit of sweet heat. Dip it up in that thing. I cut mine in half. I'm hungry. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm hungry. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. My mom do not like when I be turning on the camera and eating, y'all. She all, you ain't supposed to be doing that. I'm like, Ma, this is the new school stuff. They do everything on camera. Do I like that? It's good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Guys, I've been so tired, like literally working every day 6 a.m to 4 30. like today is like day number eight in a row because my job they'll open up the overtime and we'll just get hell of it and then it'll just go dry for a minute so while it's the getting is good you got to stack up on it because literally i was doing my 6 to 2 30 and going home y'all mm-hmm Mm. Literally, I love, I love my work shift, y'all. 6 to 2.30. By the time I'm getting off work, some people just rolling around, getting out of bed. I mean, I already made my money for the day. So I was literally just, um, oh, look how that dripped all down there. Um, literally, I was just, um, doing my eight hours and going home like I don't want to be. Mm -mm. I'll be like that, though. Once I'm, like, just doing my regular shift, it'd be hard to get back on the money train. But once I'm on it, I'd be riding until the wheels fall off, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. That's why I ain't did my hair. I need to wash my hair so I could do. I got a little, um, haul video. I'm like a haul video I want to put out. Um, some celebrity buys and some accessories. Mm. That I literally been trying to do for a minute. But I'm so happy that I've been keeping my videos going on. I literally been on YouTube for years. 
but was never consistent with it, you know? Life would always just take over, but I really do love doing YouTube, you guys. So over here, we're gonna be putting out these videos, seeing where we can take it, what's the next level we can take it to, you know? Let me know in the comments some videos y'all wanna see from me. Um, my videos, my channel, I want my channel to be a variety of things. You probably can kind of see that from the content that I put out. Hauls, lifestyle. Um, I definitely want to get into um, giving advice to, you know. Mm, 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 mm. Fashion for sure. Some hair videos. If y'all don't know, I probably don't know. I probably can't tell by my hair. I am a licensed cosmetologist, but never really had the passion to study professionally or do hair professionally, which is a little weird, but true fact. I've had my license for like 12 years. Like, I think I got it in. No, maybe I got it in like um hmm. I think like 2011. Mm-hmm. So almost 10 years. I went to um, the mall to Bath and Body Works. I went by and saw my son too. He was at work. He worked near there. I didn't vlog it though. There's was people in the store. Sometimes I be feeling weird just vlogging in front of people. Do y'all or y'all past that? Some days I don't and some days I do. People literally be staring at you like you're a damn alien because you got a camera on. Like, what? Everybody using their camera. And some sweet tea. I don't know why I'm drinking out this little ghetto 7 Up cup that I had a Slurpee in. I love this cup, y'all. Weird, right? So, yeah. Whew. I'm starting to get some of my gifts. Ooh. Laura, I'm so behind this year. Like the quarantine and the COVID. Literally, you guys, I work from home. Cash, no. He begging, y'all. He wants some. I be liking my um chicken sandwich and portions. Um, but literally, all the days just be blending together, you know? That's why I was like, at first I wasn't gonna go to Bath and Body Works today because I gotta get on a freeway door. I'm like, I'm going to get my little minis. I've been wanting to get them. So I'm going to get them. And they had Mary Cookie. They don't ever, they don't always have Mary Cookie um, with the body um, care every holiday. They don't usually be having it sometimes. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. So oh, yeah, definitely drop in the comments, guys, some things y'all want to see on my channel. I just want it to be informative. I want it to be fun. I want you to get motivation from it. I want you to get strength. Most importantly, I know the majority of my viewers are women, but for the men too, I want you to get strength because it'd be hard sometimes in your just day-to-day -day life. It'd be hard. You know, we come, we share the things that we purchase or our lifestyle the things that we're doing but you know sometimes it'd be hard to get to that place where you can go ahead and do those things in a positive way but that's why i love you too because for the most part it is a positive community and i'm the type of person you get in my comments with the shenanigans i'm gonna check you i'm gonna block you 
and that's gonna be it period <laughs> like because i don't if i see something i don't like on social media i just keep it pushing i don't comment i don't dislike i don't spam i don't report i just keep it pushing you ain't bothering me you posting your prerogative that's your thing so if anybody get in my comments with the shenanigans i'm on you that's just how i am like i don't play them games because I'm about positive wives and women need to uplift women. It's a lot of bashing, women bashing women going on. And I'm just not with that, you know? But definitely, um, get in the comments. Let me know some of the videos y'all want to see. Um, I got a few planned out. I just got to... I'm off this weekend. Like, I worked all last week, seven days. And I'm working through till Friday. So, my husband be like, Sabrina, I don't even know how you be doing it. <laughs> like, how do you... Because I go to bed super late. Like, I go to bed at, like, 1 in the morning every night and get up at 4, 6 to go to work at 6. But I've always been a late owl. My whole life, you guys, I've been a late owl since I was a baby. My mom said when I was a baby, they used to creep around. When I would go to sleep, they would creep around the house. So, they would not wake me up because it was hell getting me to go to sleep. And now... Why well, I'm trying to save this, y'all? Because <laughs> I'd be liking to eat with my husband when he come. But I got to stop doing that because he don't get home till late. He start late. He don't start work till like 1.30. So, he don't be getting home till like 10 or 11. And that's too late for a lady that's trying to watch her figure <laughs> to be eating. You ain't supposed to be eat eating after 8 or 9. A lot of the times it's what you eat. I like a lot of bread and a lot of chocolate. So I guess I'm gonna eat that little piece, y'all, when he comes. <laughs> Hell no. I'm full, so I'm gonna stop eating. And I'm getting to this haul, which I just really wanted to come. I know I'm looking busted, but. Mm. I really want to come say hey to y'all. I'm put a video up. So that's what we're going to do. Let me clean this. Hold on. I'm going to clean this paper. So please stay safe, guys. Please have a degenerate in your purse or in your car. I'm sure you guys do, but I'm just saying, for those of you that don't, please do not eat and don't wash your hands. Please, when you leave a public place, degenerate your hands. When you get home, wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Don't touch your mouth, your eyes. Keep your hands clean, for sure, definitely, because this COVID, it ain't no joke. And now we're going to get in a second dose of it. The first dose, I was like, okay, I can, you know, keep my hands clean. I can, I'm working from home now. You know, I can quarantine. I'm a homebody anyway. I'm an introvert anyway. So me not being able to go out and do this and do that is not really affecting me the way people that are more adventurous and do love to go out. It's not really affecting me that bad. But this second one got me scared, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. Like, hold on. Wait a minute. What the hell? So, literally, oh, they said um, everything was $275. I just got the minis. I literally just went for them. My little bag. Look at this little ass bag. I was walking up at my son's job. <laughs> All right. So, for everything, guys. I got two, four, six, seven items. And I pay $20.86. I don't know if y'all can see that, but that's how much I paid. Um, so I had already picked up the lotion like I showed you guys in the other haul. I also have this on my Christmas list, but I may take it out. It be taking me forever to finish um like sprays and stuff. That's why I just get the small ones. This smells so good. This is the gingham. I got the shower gel. Um, it don't have a notes on it because you know these are the little minis. But it smell. It kind of reminds me of 
like a scent we would probably wear in like high school, but the more adult version is crisp, it's fresh. It has a flower scent. It has a real flirty scent to it. It just reminds me of like a spring, summer. Like you put this on with your little summer dress. It smells so good. And it lasts. Like the lotion is all on my rub. Like I took my shower and used it. And all I had was the lotion, you guys. It's like it's lingering still. And that was, I used that like two days ago, like when I first got it. And it smells good too. I got the spray. And I think these are originally $7.50 each. But they were this. I'm telling y'all, if y'all like, it remind me of something from maybe like Victoria's Secret, like maybe one of their old pink perfumes. This smells so good. When y'all in there, check this out. This smells good. This smell like, y'all already know what it smell like. Oh my, I, now Magic in the Air, that was my favorite scent. But I think this one, I love this scent, you guys. Mm. I do, this is my favorite <clears throat> this is my favorite now so i picked up the shower gel on the spray and i picked up mary cookie like i was saying i don't think i've seen mary cookie in heck along in the body care so i got the shower gel i got the spray and this is more like a vanilla scent um let me see yeah i don't have a scent on a little i can't see them if they do but these are so cute and they had them in little gift bags too i forgot to get some of their little candle gift bags dang it but I got the set for this, the shower gel, the spray, and um, the, uh, what is this? The ultra, the body cream. Look at these little characters. You got the deer, the fox, and the bunny. That is so cute. I love that. And this is more like a vanilla, like a cookie scent, a vanilla cookie. I love this package, and this is super cute. And these little ones are so cute. The shower gel going to be gone. The hand cream going to be gone. But these sprays, they be taking me heck along to finish. Like the big ones, I can show you. I got years, every year that I went to either Victoria's Secret or Bath & Body Works, I ain't finished none of, none of them. And probably because I couldn't wear them in the last three years, I couldn't wear them to my job. My job is a fragrance-free facility because people be falling out on the stretcher talking about the perfume is too strong and i'm not sensitive to scents at all but yeah you, you have to be fragrance free in there and then i picked up two lip products um this is one of their new lip products it is the nourishing lip tint in dreamy magenta and this was originally i think 950 yeah 950 the nourishing lip tint they have some other colors i always just roll with the plums and the magenta because i know they're gonna work and it's super pretty just a little tint they do got some, a little bit of color too cash hold on i'm trying to do my video oh no no and it got a little taste to it too that's how that look it's probably gonna be gone you don't get that much product and it's super moisturizing and then I picked up this one, which was also $9.50. And this is a rose bomb. And it's just clear. Packaging looks like that. It's rose bomb. And it's just clear. Let me see what's the texture. Oh, well, no. It got a little pink tint to it. Got a little tint. Oh, it's soft. Like something you would put on getting in the shower or about to do your makeup. It has a little pretty rose scent to it too. So I just picked that up and it's just clear. You can kind of see it right there. This is more like you moisturize or, you know, um, do a scrub on your lips or something. And you just had this to go to bed or something. Super soft. So I do love that. It's not sticky at all. So that's what I picked up, you guys, from Bath & Body Works. Just these little items. I wanted them and I just went and got them. I had to get on the freeway. Mine's that's in my city closed at five o'clock. I'm like, they stealing out of there. Is that why they close so early? Like, why the hell are they closing so early? So yeah, I just wanted to do that little mini haul. Come through, talk to you guys, chop it up real quick. You want to say something? Come here. Oh, he is not going to let me in. Come here. Come here. You want to say hi? He need a haircut, y'all. We still ain't cut his hair. He got a beard. That's Cash. Say hi, Cash. Say hi, Papa. He told my little boy. <laughs> he managed, y'all. He managed. Hold on, hold on. We almost done. You want to go pee pee? I don't have nothing. I don't have nothing.
So yeah, guys, I just wanted to come through real quick, chop it up with y'all. I'll be back in a couple. I'm going to come back with a haul. So I hope you guys stay safe, stay blessed. Let's get ready to have a safe holiday. And until my next video, juice.